Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, week 160 of my keto journey, keto slash low carb journey. And we're gonna talk about this past week. I'm gonna give you a scale update. Also how I'm doing with the squat and plank challenge. And we're gonna talk about a certain mindset that we need to get out of that I think a lot of us uh, struggle with or have struggled with in the past. And I have a confession. <sighs> for you guys and I have to be honest with you guys about something. So let's get into the video. If you are new to my channel, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, be a part of my journey, allow me to be a part of yours. This channel is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight of 374. I have battled with obesity my entire life, so really figuring out the mental part of this journey is what my channel focuses on. And I'm very real and upfront. I share absolutely everything with you, even if it hurts me, <laughs> even if it's hard, I share it with you because I know that we're all going through this together so if that interests you make sure to hit that subscribe button also I have a support group on Facebook the shrinkables come join us over there a community filled with awesome people also follow me on Facebook and Instagram all of that is down below all right so before we get into uh, this week and the scale update and my confession let's talk about the squat and plank challenge because <laughs> This week was kind of rough uh, for me. I'm still going strong, but I definitely hit a hiccup this week. So I'm just gonna show you my accountability videos on how the, squ <laughs> how the squats and planks went this week. All right, so day nine is done. So we were at the playground and Christina's doing the squat and plank challenge with us. She's actually the one that started it. She suggested it. So we were at the playground with the kids and I was like, we still need to do our squats. And she's like, why don't we just do them here? So we did them there. And I held on to the pole um, because of my, my back. I have a bulging disc that I got a couple years ago and I'm on medication for it. And so strengthening, strengthening my core is just really super important and that's why I'm doing this because I really got to strengthen my core but anyway my back hurts if I'm just doing like standalone squats and also I was in heels so it was just easier for me to hold on to that so if you're wondering why I was holding on Christine thought it looked funny though <laughs> doing squats on a pole and I have to say doing a hundred straight through oh we were feeling it we were feeling it in our legs afterwards I felt like so weak and I felt like my legs were gonna give out on me so but we got it done I don't know how long I can go until I'm at the point where I have to 
take a break in between the squats. But we did 100, we did it straight through, we did freaking awesome, it's done. <sighs> okay, day 10 tomorrow. All right, guys, so the squats in the playground were insane, okay? I killed my legs. So my squat machine, my DB method, has me in a certain position for the squats. At the playground, I was doing them differently. I squatted in a different position, and so my legs were wider. So I was using muscles that I haven't yet used, and I did it a hundred times, a hundred squats in a row. Killed my freaking legs. I have been in so much pain. I had to take uh, some rest days from squats because I could barely even walk like the next night into the next day. My legs were so sore. Like getting on and off the toilet <laughs> was ridiculous. And like I have little steps in my house that I have to like walk up and oh my gosh, I've been looking like ridiculous around here recently so i had to take a couple uh rest days you know and that's fine we we can do that right like we can adjust we can modify we can do what's right for us but we just can't give up we just can't quit so took a couple rest days but yesterday i did do um the minute plank and it was actually easier than i thought so i can feel uh my core getting stronger so today is rest day for squats which whoop whoop <laughs> and uh a minute and a half for planks, so it jumped up to a minute and a half. So we'll see, we'll see if I can get through the whole minute and a half. So I'm gonna be doing that a little later, but yeah, oh, my legs, and they're still, they're still trying to recover, and I'm on the third rest day. <sighs> Crazy, but I'm getting stronger, right? We have to, we have to hurt, we have to be uncomfortable to get comfortable. No pain, no gain, right? Oh my gosh, all right. <laughs> Bye. my dress because I just wanted to get it done all right so I am definitely
constantly uh, changing things up when it comes to uh, the squat and plank challenge. We have to do what is right for us, right? And the squats were a little aggressive for me. And I think I have arthritis. I have arthritis in my legs. I got runner's knee a few years ago and it it really caused a lot of issues with my legs and I have really bad arthritis and doing the squats and especially when I do a lot of them it makes the arthritis so much worse I thought it was supposed to like help with the arthritis like isn't it supposed to help it um, but it just makes me super inflamed and I see it on the scale too like because my my body just retains water big time which I talked about in my last video just holding on to water weight because of the squats and like it's supposed, and it's not even like a good pain, <laughs> you know, like when you work out those muscles and you're like, yeah, this is awesome. I, this is the most satisfying pain, right? When it really starts to affect my arthritis, it's not a good pain. So I think I'm doing too much at this point. So I've got to figure something out. I don't want to stop them. Um, and I'm definitely not stopping the planks because my focus is my core. I really need to get my core stronger because of my bulging disc. So really committing to that, really committing to planks and core exercises and just really being serious about that. That's what I'm going to do. As far as the squats, I want to get my legs stronger, obviously, but I think I'm going to chill a little bit. I'm going to chill with, with the squats. So just wanted to let you guys know that if you are doing the squat in plank challenge with me, you are awesome. There's some of us that are still uh, posting in that chat group in my shrinkables uh, support group uh, saying done every time we finish our exercise. So I just want to say I'm so super proud of you guys. We just got to keep on going. We just got to keep doing our best and our best is different for everyone. So find what works for you and push yourself a little bit more every day. All right, guys. So let's talk about that mindset that we get into. So there is a video that I had made it was like three years ago. It was within my first year on this journey. So it was like two and a half years ago, maybe. And it was Mother's Day. And it's it's a video that my kids love to watch because we went uh, out to eat and then we went to the playground. And so the kids love to watch that video because they see themselves playing and everything. There's a certain part in that video where I'm talking and I, I'll just show you right here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. We're going to start heading to the coast. I am not staying keto today. I'm eating kind of whatever I want. I'm being bad, but I'm going to enjoy it because I am starting the egg fast again tomorrow. Oh, that makes me cringe, cringe, cringe. That mindset. Oh, well, I'm doing the keto egg fast on Monday, so I can just kind of splurge and just eat what I want and just be bad. That is the mindset that I've always had. And I haven't had that mindset in a really, really long time, which makes me super proud. But <laughs> I had it. I had it this past weekend. So I weighed in a day early uh, last week because uh, my hubby and I had a date night planned. We were going to a Mexican restaurant for dinner and then also to Fun Town, uh, which is an amusement park in here. They had an adults night only. And so my cousin Chelsea was freaking awesome and watched the kids for us and we had a great date night. So I knew that we were going to have Mexican food. Now this was planned. I had done super good. I did OMAD uh, throughout the entire month of July and then stayed on track for August and then started the squat and plank challenge. And after I started that challenge, I kept gaining weight. It was like five pounds that I had gained after starting the squat challenge, which I get, you know, retaining water. That's what my body does. But it was very discouraging because my plan was to go to Margarita's, have, that's our Mexican restaurant, and have the food that I wanted to have, do OMAD that day so it wouldn't totally screw me up. But because I had gained the weight and I was fixating on that scale, I was focusing on the number on the scale, it just, it got me into a really bad mindset. And so I ended up eating bread uh, for lunch. I had a sandwich that day. Totally not my plan, but I'm like, oh, well, I'm going, I'm going to margaritas tonight. I'm going to have yummy food. Why don't I just have a ham and cheese sandwich on real bread, trigger food, bread, trigger food. And so that wasn't even a big deal. I didn't really gain a lot from that. It was the next day. So the clean fast started on the 28th and I was planning on doing the keto egg fast to take off any water weight or bloat that I was carrying from the squat and plank challenge. 
so why would I add more water weight? Like looking back, that's what I'm thinking. Why would I want to add more water weight to take off? But I did. So I had, I had a day. I was in that mindset where I'm like, oh, I'm doing the keto egg fast tomorrow, so today is gonna be my day. I am going to just eat what I want. And I became that old Steffi. The next morning, now I was weighing in at 203. That was my, my weigh in. And before that day, that's what I was at. I was at 203. I woke up the next day, starting the keto egg fast, and I was 209. I had gained six pounds in one day. What's cool is that I realized that I haven't done that in a really long time. I have been super consistent on this journey. Have I been perfect? Absolutely not. But I haven't done that in a really long time. I haven't had a day of binging in a really long time. I can't even tell you when the last time I did that. Last year? I mean, it's been, it's been a long time. So that's pretty cool. But what is not cool is the the feelings that I had after. When I started the, the egg fast, I was I couldn't believe <laughs> that I had gained that much weight in one day. It honestly disgusts me how easily my body gains weight, water weight. What's cool is that if you get back on track, it comes right off. But what is not cool are the thoughts that are going in your head. I felt so disappointed in myself. Sure, I enjoyed that day. I enjoyed eating the foods that I loved. I also knew it was my addiction, you know? And so I was really trying to figure out like what I was feeling in that moment. Every time I would crave something, I was like, okay, Steffi, what are you thinking right now? What are you feeling right now? And most of it was stress, you know? Like I'm a stressed out mama over here. And I love food. I love bad food. I have always loved it my entire life. I've just grown this unhealthy relationship with food that I'm trying to break away from. But sometimes, sometimes those feelings come back if I let it. Now I've been in control. I haven't let those feelings come back. And when they do, when they try to creep in, I shove them back out. But this time I let them in. And so I felt so disappointed, so disappointed. But I knew I was, it was gonna come off. I knew it was gonna come off, but it's totally not worth it. It is not worth it, obviously. We don't wanna feel that. We don't wanna feel bloated and gain all that weight and then feel all the guilt and shame and disappointment after. It is just not worth it. So then I did the first day of the keto egg fast. Now keep in mind, I'm still doing my squats and my planks. I did the first day of the keto egg fast. I got on the scale the next day and I gained a pound. I was 210. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is insane. Then the second day, that is when I did those squats at the playground. And the next day, the scale hadn't moved. So that is not how my body reacts to a keto egg fast at all. Like I lose weight. I lose that water weight quickly, especially when I've gained that much water weight. Like it flushes out of me. So I know the squats are just affecting the scale. It's making me retain water, clearly. But I kept going, guys. I did not let myself get discouraged. I knew that if I just did the right things, the weight was gonna come off. And one of the right things was to let my body relax and, and rest and let my muscles repair a little bit. I ended up, I ended up taking uh, three rest days and the weight just flushed out of me. So I continued on with the keto egg fast and for my final weigh-in, I was 200, 200 point something, I can't remember. I'll show it to you here. But I was 200, so I had lost all of that water weight. It all came flushing out, plus I had lost another three pounds. So pretty cool week because I realized a lot this week, you know? I mean, it's things that I already knew. It's things I already knew. I can't eat like that. I just can't and it's not worth it. But I also see myself as such a stronger person than I used to be and that makes me feel good and that is what I'm gonna focus on. Sure, I had a day, I had a couple days, but that isn't who I am anymore. And sometimes, you know, the devil's gonna try and make me believe that I am that person. He's gonna try and bring my past back into, into my life and say, you are still that person. You are still that broken person. You have no future. You can't do this. You are a failure. You're always gonna fail. But you know what? It's all lies. It's all lies. Because I know what my future is. I know how strong I am because I have his strength. And so I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on doing what I know is right. And I'm going to become that person that I'm destined to be. So 
final weigh-in is 200, which is super awesome because I'm almost in Wonderland again. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the squats. And honestly, I know it's about getting stronger. I know it's not about the scale, but I wanna see that number go down. Like. It's just, it helps me with my mental health. It helps me mentally. It helps me keep going. I'm, I'm motivated by that scale. It is a part of my journey. I'm not someone who can just put away the scale and not weigh in. Like I need to see it because it keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. So I've got to figure something out. I've got to figure out what's right for me. And I'm thinking just continue working on my core and then go for walks and just not like overdo it and caused me to hold on to water. My arthritis is just so bad. So anyway, that's my week. I had to be honest with you guys about what I went through last weekend and it sucked. Like it did not feel good. It did not feel good at all. It wasn't, it was not fun to feel that again. But I'm kind of glad I went through it at the same time because it made me realize who I am right now and who I'm becoming. You know, I'm not there yet. But guys, I will be one day, and you will too, if you just don't give up. Remember who you are, remember your goals, stay focused, and keep going. If you are still watching right now, comment below, I've got this, because you do. You totally do. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and join my support group on Facebook. I would love to see you over there. If you don't have a Facebook account, create one to be a part of the group. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you at the next video, which is going to be a video showing you what I ate on OMAD one meal a day for the first week. So turn that bell on for notifications if you haven't yet. All right guys, I'll see you then. Stay safe and choose health. Bye.